highlighting some of the few abuses. Because if our young people are going to be leaders of tomorrow, they need to know today. They need to understand today what is being done to our beloved continent. Otherwise, there will simply be other leaders who are going to be raised to be afraid of those who don't look like us. Well said from our mother, Mama Africa, Dr. Kana Chilombori Kwao, uh, about Africa not to afraid others. Today we are lamenting that Africa we are so exploited, but we are afraid to speak out, to speak the truth that you multinations who are operating in the continent of Africa, you are exploiting us. You are doing something that is not good for us. We are not enjoying your presence. Like today we are talking about the friends, the presence of friends in Africa. So the coming readers and young readers must not afraid, and that's what Dr. Kana was just talking about. We need to, to, to believe in ourselves. So, uh, I don't know why we as Africans, we are afraid. Let me pass you through this, uh, maybe short history. You understand how Africa was so greatness. Africans, we are great since then. Um, first of all, you must understand that the richest person in, in the history of the earth was uh, Mansa Musa of Mari. This is the black people and Africans. The greatest pop musician was Michael Jackson. Black people. Africans. Uh, the greatest jazz singer, the famous Franklin, was black people. Was Africans. The greatest footballer was Pele. Till today, the best footballer in this world was Pele. Black people. You see, all these are Africans. So wh wh why are we afraid? Why we are so great? Let me move, uh, move on. The biggest boxer was Muhammad Ali. Black people. So we have a great readers and great people in this world. Uh, apart from that, let us, uh, the biggest and richest gopher is Tiger Wood, black people. The greatest uh, basket player was Michael, you see? Black people. The, the biggest learner and only world record is Usain Bolt, black people. Maybe the biggest female tennis player is Selena Williams, black people. The biggest hip-hop artist was Tupac. We are talking about Tupac, we are talking about Jay-Z, are black people, are Africans. When we talk about Africans, you know, let, let us me tell you, uh, all black people are from Africa. So if you see someone, maybe black people in America, they have been taken here or they have migrated from Africa to America. So the source of all of these black people is Africa. So when you see black people anywhere representing Africans, the greatest philosopher were Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. Black people. All are blacks. The greatest leg artist was Bob Marley. Many of us, we know uh, Bob Marley was sung this as uh, a sing of uh, re uh, liberation, like redemption songs, Buffalo Soldiers, um, No Woman, No Woman, No Cry, many, many songs. Freedom. The most educated president was Robert Mugabe from Zimbabwe. Black people. The world greatest president was Nelson Mandela from South Africa. So where, why are we afraid? Why we have these great people? The man who succeeds, successfully carried out the American space shuttle to the moon was Arinaitwe, a Ugandan black people. The most famous general was Colin Luther Powell, black people. The greatest surgeon in the world is Ben 
Carson, black people. The greatest medical invention, the revolutionary robot used in brain surgery by Beninez ben Martin Nahum, black people. The next, uh, the next greatest man is you, me and you. So why are you afraid? Stop thinking that others people are superior to us. Start to, to discover the superiority in you. Let us wake up, dear African brothers and sisters. Africa, we have no need to afraid anyone. But we are keeping silent when something happening to us. I don't know why we are, I don't know this generation, why this generation we are so afraid. In. And let me tell you something. You know, people who are in diaspora are those who are doing amazing job there in, outside of the continent. Our young men and women who are going to take a uh, study abroad are those who are doing amazing job there. So because they are doing there, those uh, ownership of those jobs and great things that they have been doing have been remained there. So Africans, we are doing very well everywhere. So there's no need for us to be afraid. So if we, we, we understand the real history, the real story in this continent, we cannot be afraid. Africa, we are the only who can speak with a stone. Africans, we can speak with the stones. But what, how... Why are we afraid? So someone will say maybe these are witches. Not, not are witches. These are the, the superior of Africans. Africa can speak with anything. We can speak with the mountain. Africa can speak with the animal. I have seen President Paul Kagame speaking with the lion. We can speak with anything in this world. Africa, we are so superior. So don't be afraid. So uh, my mother, uh, our mother, Dr. Kana Chomboy was energizing we young Africans, the current generation and generation to come that there's no need to be afraid. Let us speak with one voice. So, we as Africans, it's our time now to come together, to speak with one voice without fear of anything. Because we want to build the new Africa. Let us build the Africa we want. We are lamenting for too long. We are saying we are so exploited. Let us come to an end this lamentation. Let us come to the action. Yes, we have said that we don't have capacity. Today we have already the people in the diaspora who are ready to work with us in the continent. So let us allow them to work with us. Let us bring changes to this mother continent, Africa. So all in all, my dear friends, this is energetic time and action time we need to energize each other at the same time to do something to bring changes to our mother continent Africa. so i have nothing more from that uh so let me say thank you for your listening uh if you have something please write in the comment section uh let us come together as Africans, let us unite, let us speak with one voice, let us build the Africa we want. Thank you.